let's look at senior certificate examinations, national senior certificate examinations, 2024, which is May, June, Mathematical Literacy Paper 1, that was written today, the 3rd of May, 2024. All right, you look at the instructions. You go through them when you happen to sit for this paper. All right, now question number one. The graph below shows the number of people from four African countries visiting South Africa for various reasons. The number of people by country visiting South Africa for various reasons. Now, these are the different countries that we have. You can highlight them. One, two, three and the four various African countries. Then uh, <clears throat> down here, this is what we call the key. Each bar here represents a given value down here. All right. Use the, use the graph to answer the questions that follow. Name the country with the lowest number of people visiting South Africa for business. Business it's the dark, the dark label here. Business, the dark one. So this is business, business, and business. Which one has the lowest value? It's Kenya. The lowest value is Kenya. We are looking at uh, visitors for business in South Africa. Kenya has the lowest value. We go to the, the second one point one point two. Identify the countries that have the same number of people visiting South Africa for the study uh, study purposes. Then we look at study purposes. Uh, it's this other last one here. Last one here. Last one here. Now, which countries have the same number? It's Malawi. Malawi and Zambia. All right, we go to the second question. Write down the country that has the, the that has the greatest difference in people visiting South Africa for business compared to those visiting South Africa for holidays. Now, holidays are the ones which are in line. Holiday are the ones which are in line in in in. These dark ones here. Yeah? So the stripes one. The stripe the ones with stripes. So now we're looking at the difference now. Uh, Namibia, the largest difference. Now when you come here, that means we're going to subtract. We shall subtract this six thousand and sixty-nine minus one seventy-eight to give you a certain body there. The body there comes to 5,891. This one, when you subtract, when you subtract the next one, you have uh, 2,397. Uh, and when you subtract the last one, you will have 261. There's this one here, 1,005, 1,050. 1050 minus 141 it has 900 but a mere look a mere look a mere look a mere look uh a mere look you will tell that it's a uh, malawi because you see this number is too way off from this other one here so which one has the largest number uh the difference the largest difference there we shall say it's ma la we. All right, I get the total number of people visiting South Africa for study purposes. Now, from these four countries, you're going to add these numbers. Study purposes, we have 83 plus 98 plus 475 plus 83. I repeat, we are saying we are adding 170. Sorry. Yeah, study purposes, the, uh, the ones on the right hand side, so we are saying 83 plus 98 plus 
475 plus another 83. And here we get the answer as uh, 700. 739. 739. Alright, we go to the second question. We go to the second question here. We go to the second question, which is 1.2. Uh, Samuel is on a business trip to South Africa. He was informed that one of the top, t, sorry, the top 10 items purchased by people visiting South Africa is rainbow's tea. Number one below shows the prices, including bed of some rainbow's tea items displayed at a local worst shop. So, description. Okay, we have the uh, item A, B, C, D, e, and E. All right, we go there, we see the description. Then item number uh, A, so uh, item A, we have robust tea, tea tin with 20 tea bags, which costs 40 rand, and robust tea tin with 40 tea bags, which costs 50 rand, and robust good in, goods uh, tea with 50 pyramid tea bags, which is at 100. Then we have a teapot, which is at 185, and a gift bag, which is at 16 rand. All right, determine the price of one tea bag if someone buys item B. So item B, we are looking at this. We are looking at price of only one tea bag, but they have told you the cost is 50. So here we shall say uh, they are looking at price per tea bag so we shall take uh, the 50 rand divided by the number of what number of tea bags and the answer becomes 50 divided by 40 you get uh one rand 25 cents uh the other question right as a simplified ratio the price of item d to the price of item c so the price of item d the price of item remember we are looking at prices so d it has 108 c the same same as 185 is 2 price c is at 100 so so simple get the uh, smaller number divided by the bigger number so you get your answer as uh, 20 over 35 so which means which is that sorry 37 is 2 20. That is it. That's the answer there. Eh? All right. Samuel decided, Samuel decided, Samuel decided to purchase the following items for his wife. One, a teapot, uh, robust, uh, uh, pyramid tea bag, then the gift bag. Determine the total cost for his purchase. All you're going to do, how much was the teapot? We said it was the uh, 16 rand. Mm -mm. It was 185, this one here, plus the golden bag, which is at uh, 100 or so, and the gift bag, which is at a, a 16 rand. All right, then when you add this all, you will end up having we have uh, 185 plus 100 runs plus 16 runs. We have the answers 301. 301 runs. Okay. We look at this question here. Tourists visiting South Africa need to convert their local currents to South African rand. Here, when you hear this, you 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 you, you think of what to call the use what we call the exchange exchange rates okay the exchange rates are given down here as you see the current conversion factors of four african countries as at 2017 april 2023 that was last year almost a year from now all right there we go we're looking at this now another thing that you have to analyze is that units per run this is per, per this means 
for every one rand they have this for every one rand they have this that's simply that's what it means so it doesn't matter if you use this other side or this side so now this side is up per unit so this simply means these are runs these are all what runs but for the deep for example the, in the first one it's for only the first one it's one um, malawian kwacha you get this much runs for one kenyan shilling you get that much for one namibian dollar you get that much for one zambian kwacha zambian kwacha you get that much this is what it simply means anyway let's follow uh, right now the country whose currency has the same value as the south african rand it's the namibian dollar look at that one rand you get one namibian dollar one namibian dollar you get one rand as so this is the namibian namibian in namibian dollar okay identify the currency that is stronger than the south african rand now the easiest way to do it is to look at a uh, stronger than the thing which currency is stronger than the south african rand uh it's the zambian kwacha because for one rand you have 0 0.97 you understand one big whole number you get something small in fractions whereas this was so now yeah the weakest is the malawian kwacha so weak followed by the kenyan shilling namibian it's equal here the zambian kwacha takes over uh then here we go and we say the zambian kwacha is stronger than the south african run South African rand. Okay. Show by Minzo show how the Malio, uh, the Ma Malawian kwacha of 0 0.01779 za per unit was determined. Now this is so simple. All you do is to change. Uh, we are changing this. Here. We take this. Since we want this to become 1, we divide through by. So this was determined by 1 is divided by five six comma two one one three five five that's how they determined the that's how they determined this value here look at question number one point one uh, one point four the table below shows the data data relating to the arrival departure and transit of local and foreign travelers. This data was collected by the Department of Home Affairs at the ports of entry and exit to and from South Africa for three selected months. A, uh, a value P in the table has been omitted. Data related to the number of local and foreign travelers. Here we go, we look at it and we see. Okay, we continue. Table one point, sorry, question number 1.4. 1.4.1 write in words without numer numerous without numbers the total number of travelers through february 2022 now shall come here and we look at it that's february it's this one here so the total number of travelers it's this the total number of travelers it's that much we are going to write it down in number numer uh, so in let me see it's one one zero five six eight five now starting from the right hand side this it's hundreds making this 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 three what thousands now these are three these are these six values so that means this one is a what it's a million so this is uh thousands hundred thousands then these are hundreds these are hundreds anyway let's look at that and see so if it's one one in the place of million we shall say one million followed by one hundred 
and five these are thousand six hundred six hundred eighty eighty five One million one hundred and five thousand six hundred eighty five travelers. Now they want us to find the value of P, which is question number one point four point two. We find the missing value of P. Now the missing value of P is the total number of travelers. All you have to do is to get, uh, when you look at these numbers on top here, this, this number here plus this number here, should you give you this. So we're going to add. We are adding these two, and they're giving us that as the answer there. Why? Because when you add this, you get this. And when you add this, you get this. Simply meaning the total, the total number of, travelers in the upper part plus the foreign travelers in so the local travelers plus the total number of foreign you add them you get the total so it will be so easy which is 131 131 Plus, we are adding on 254,190, sorry, 139. So your answer will become 385,832. These are travelers. Okay, they are asking us. Look at the, the increase in the number of the local travelers from Feb 2021 to Feb 2022. The increase number. So simple, get the number in Feb. The number in Feb, it's this much. Uh, we subtract it from that other one there. So we shall say 359. Minus one hundred thirty one six hundred ninety three and subtract the two, you we'll end up having a beautiful answer as twenty seven thousand sorry two hundred two hundred twenty seven thousand nine hundred ninety three. That is the value that you are looking at. That's the value that you get. Okay, state the month and the year in which the highest number of foreign travelers were in transit. We shall come down here, look at transit. We look at the transit, which is transit here. So we have, we have uh, 56, 157, 187. We shall state, they told us to state the month and the year. So the month is February. The year 2022. Finished. Don't forget where we got the answer from, to where we got the question paper from. It was downloaded from thunderedioc.com. We look at question number two. Mr. Warren Haynes receives his uh, titanium credit card statement for his account at Sunland Bank, dated 9th of September 2023. And next year A shows the ad adopted statement of Mr. Warren, Warren's credit card. All right, so that's the A. All 
All right, that, there we go. We look at the next chart. This is the next chart. And this, uh, then we go back to the question. The question says, write down the answer. Mm. Write down the amount paid to the Standard Bank by, Miss, uh, by Mr. Haynes during September 2023. Now let's go to the next chart. We see payment made during September 2023. So September 2023, we have this sorry this is september 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 but when you look at this there's no payment made here also this is for september september you see that so the only payment that was made in september only in september it's this and the payment is this much and the answer becomes two thousand so the answer here has to be was supposed to be two thousand Payment maybe. Give one valid reason why some numbers have been omitted from the account. Uh, the valid reason is for security. So, security reasons. Security. Security reasons to avoid. Uh, his account being hacked. Avoid his account being hacked. There you go. Then we have this other one here where it says outstanding authorities refers to the purchase that outstanding authorization refers to the purchase that will still be finalized. Show by means of calculations how the amount of 8,323.78 for the available amount to be spent was determined. We come here, we are looking at this value here. There is a value here that we are looking at, this value here, how was it determined? This value, when you look at it critically, it comes from Okay, it comes from, you need to, this will subtract 1, and it will also subtract the 2. So, how do we get this value here? We are saying we shall take 20,000 minus the 5,650 minus 6,000. This is how the value of that much was received. That's how it was got. That's how the value was got 20,000 minus 5,000. 500, sorry, 56. 5,656 remain with 14,343 and then you subtract the 6,000. That's how we get the body they were talking about. We are answering question number, question number 2.1.3. We are answering this question here. We are saying they took the 20,000, they subtracted, they subtracted the uh, 6,000, 20 rand, minus the 5,656, 22 cents. That's how they got the answers. All right, the amount paid to Caltex on, 20, uh, sorry, on 12th of August 2023 was 54,000, sorry, was for 
was for 54,1365 liters of petrol. Calculate the price per, per liter of petrol on a particular day. Price per liter. Simply, mean, simply meaning that the price that was paid there, let's go and check. I'll take it here. The price paid was 1,375, 76 rands. Uh, 15 cents. So we shall take that money because you're looking for price per liter. So we shall take that money, which is 1,376 uh, 15 cents, divided by 54,1365. These are number of liters. We're looking for price per liter. So which gave us 25. 25 rands 42 cents per liter. 2.1.5. The purchase at the pro shop on 24th of August 2023 was for a, a revoke RV2 Golf push cut at a discount price. Then if at this okay, if a 17.5% discount was given on the price paid, calculate the original price. So now first and foremost, you need you need to look for how much was paid. That's what I want to go. That's what I, that's what I need to find out on the statement. How much was paid on the 24th of August? So come here, look for 24th of August. Oh, indeed, it's here. It's there. Yeah, he paid. He paid three thousand two hundred ninety-nine. So he paid three thousand two hundred ninety-nine comma ninety-nine. Remember, he pays this after a discount was applied. After a discount was applied, so this is what he pays after the discount has applied. So now ask yourself how much was it originally? So all you're going to do, uh, okay, if he was given a seven, uh, remember the price before discount, the price, the price before, before discount, it's at a hundred percent. So if you apply a discount, you're going to remove that discount there and you remain with a hundred percent. If I remove 17%, Hundred percent. If I remove seventeen percent, a hundred percent minus seventeen percent, we remain with eighty-two comma five percent. That means this price is worth eighty-two comma five percent. That means uh, there was a certain price that was multiplied by eighty-two percent and the answer became the answer became 3299 so what do we do we divide through by 82,5 percent and you divide by 82,5 percent this goes with that so the price i'm looking for that i called h i'll end up having the price as 3900 99,99. This means this was the original price. This was the original price. We look at the next question. Look at the next question. 2.2. The big golf club uses a golf course situated uh, in, in London. The table below, table four below, shows the actual and projected sources of income in pound sterling of the Bay Golf Club based on previous trends in income for the years of 2022 to year 2026. Now the projection is in between here. These are already, these are, these are already passed. Anyway, it's fine. It's going to see. So we are looking at this. Identify the source of income that is expected to generate the second highest income across the year. Second highest. 
the first this is the first when you look at oh this is very they are too big you understand but then if you go in between the second it's this so they have told you to identify identify the source of income not the number but the source of income the source of identify the source of income but it's expected to generate the second highest income across the year across the year this is it so they expect uh the the bus sales and the function identify the source they didn't say identify the number the source of income which is you pick from so it's 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 a, a source number one two three four source number four all right here we go then what has to do what? okay the ratio of the income for shop sales for 2023 to 2024 is given as 47 is to 49 Take the missing value of B. This is for, uh, we are looking at the, we are looking at the bar sales, 2023 and 2024 in a ratio format. So first and foremost, we shall need, I will need to write that down. So we go to the shop sales shop sales oh it's a b that's missing so this one of 2023 it's given so 2023 it's 47 so we shall say 20, we put its value the way it is is to b what do we do cross multiply cross multiply so the 47 multiplies with a b the same 49 will multiply by 23,500. So, because uh, you're looking for the value of B, when you multiply 49 times 23,500, you end up having uh, 115,000, sorry, 1 million, 1 million, 1 million, 151,000. 547 b so we divide through by 47 divide through by 47 this will go with that so my b now b will equal to 24500 that's a value b okay Come to question number 2.2.3. Can you get the percentage change in total uh, in total actual and projected source of income from 2022 to 2000? So we are looking at percentage change. Now when we when when we deal with percentage change, when we deal with percentage change, we get the new minus the old divided by the old times 100 new minus old divided by the old times 100 i'm looking at percentage change so the change has to be there 2022 so we shall go up there and we check uh, we are looking at 2022 2022 we're looking at total actual and projected sources of income so we are here and in that so we are going to look at those values there and we shall say it becomes the new which is 455,000 sorry 
100. I'm multiplying by 100 because I'm looking for the percentage change. So here the answer became, my answer here has to be, well, minus 39, divided by 39, times 100. So here the answer becomes 4,99%. We look at question number three, which says, Staff at public schools are required to add air to the stipulated percentages of fractions relating to the total number of weekly periods based on their post levels. Table number five, table five shows the stipulated teaching time, a post level, a school type. All right, stipulated teaching time, a post level, a school type. So the school type. The school type. Uh, we look at this. We have primary. And we have secondary. So the percentages are here. These are the posts or positions, what we call the ranks. And that, that's what happens. You look, at, you look at the table and you find out what's happening. So here we go. Wood Hill second, Senior Secondary School has a timetable with 40 periods a week shown below. Shown below are the number of periods per week allocated to their staff members. The missing value D represents the number of periods taught by the deputy principal. Then these are the other periods for other uh, educators. D is found there. Then Moloto Primary School, PS, has a timetable with 37 periods per week. Shown below are the number of periods per week allocated to their staff. All right. Use table 5 and information above to answer the questions that follow. Determine the number of staff members at Wood Hill Secondary School. Now, all you're going to do, each number represents a staff here. So all you're going to do, count them. We have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So they are 10 by one two then by the plus when you count these ones down here one two three four five six seven eight nine plus nine so all in all it's 20 plus nine and the answer is what 29 so the total number of uh it's what is what 29 you count those numbers already. don't add their periods each period each number they really represents a teacher uh, write down the modern number of periods per week for Moloto Primary School. Now, Moloto Primary School, the model number, take note, model number comes from mod, the number that appears most. We have 27, 27, appears twice, 29, 29, 29, 29, so 27 jumps out, 29 appears four times. We have 31, 2, 3, 4, 5. Also, 29 jumps out because 30 now has taken over five times. This other one repeats itself, 31. One, two, three. This one appears three times. 32 appears three times. So the model number here is supposed to be 30 periods per week. Look at the value of D. They told you it's for the deputy. The value of D is the deputies now remember deputy he has also stipulated time of the 40 of the 40 how much should he work that's what they're telling us of the 40 the missing value d so we shall say d deputy then we shall take the deputies take three out of five so we shall say three out of five times the number of periods which became 24. Ian stated that, Ian stated that since the calculated mean for wood, 
wood hill is 33. The median would be better reflection of the average. The median would be better reflection of the average number of periods taught per staff member. Just by using calculations. Um, yeah, the best. Yeah, the best. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. the best, the best uh, reflection will be will be for the median because because there are, there are you know, there is an outlier there is and out outlier that weird number the the extreme number when you look at it, all these values these are all, almost next to each other but there's a three here three is far away so median is better when data ha has outliers uh, determine the fraction probability of random selecting a staff member at Moroto PS who teaches 29 or more periods. Now we go there and we see Moroto, 29 and more. So these are, first and foremost, we shall look, uh, we shall check out how many people are there. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 by 3, a total of 21. Out of 21, how many? Are working on 29 and above what you do remove these ones which are not which are below 29 so it's one two three four five so they are five out of 21 minus you get 16. these are five even with 16. so 16 how can it be reduced that's the answer you can't reduce it to 20. 16 out of 21 you can't reduce it any further divided by 21 it remains that that's a fraction so the answer here it's what 16 out of 21 what's number 3.2 what's number 3.2 we are looking at this and you're saying the table below shows the percentage has achieved in term one by 10 selected learners of Woodley Wood Hill Secondary School for task one and task two in mathematical literacy. The values are in percentage. So on the answer sheet provided the performance of learner A and J for both tasks are plotted on a graph. For both tasks. Okay, we go and we see use table 6A and the graph and answer sheet to answer the following questions. Name the type of graph shown on the answer sheet. The type of graph like this one here, we call it the, we call it the scatter plot. We call it the scatter plot. All right, there we go. We call it the scatter plot. Name the type of graph. We are saying it's called the scatter. Call it the scatter plot. Um, calculate the range of, uh, of, of the percentages for task two. We shall come here task two to this. But what you need to know, first and foremost, what is range? highest value minus lowest value so we are looking for the highest value here task two highest value is 80 one and the lowest value is 15. so it will be 81 minus 15. 81 minus 15. 81 minus 15.
whereby we get the range at 66. 66. We look on and we see the answer here. Mm -hmm. C. Identify the learner whose marks for both tasks can be classified as an outlier. What is an outlier? An outlier is a number that are in extremes. They are extreme. Let's go to the data and we check these numbers. For example, task one, we have 71, 79, 80, 68, 63, 53. 52, 71, 22. Look at that. All of a sudden we have a 22. Then 76 and 80. So 22 is an outlier. We go down here still. 53, 69, 53, 49, 50, 47, 61. Look at the 15. It's an outlier. So they are asking us uh, identify the learner who's marked. We are identifying the learner. So learner H. Learner H. Learner H can be classified as, and give a reason for that, because he has what? A 22, task 1, and a 15, task 2. And remember, we said outliers are extreme. So those numbers don't belong into those, the other ones that are given. They are not that much close. Not that much close. All right, we look at question number 3.2.2. .2. This is the question you're answering now. The school subjects policy states that the difference between the mean of the two tasks should be below 15%. So the mean, the mean, the mean for task one is 66, seven, sorry, 66,7%. A teacher claimed that the difference in the mean mark for both tasks follows within the school subject policy. Verify showing all calculations whether the, this teacher's claim is valid. Now remember we are I we are fighting we are fighting what? Difference in the mean. Already task one has its mean as 66, but you don't know the mean of task two. So your job is to look for the mean of task two and you differentiate them. So we shall do that. Mean of task two. What you're going to do, you're going to add these numbers here. All the numbers which are below. 50, 53 plus 68, or 69. Right? Plus 50. So 53 plus 69 plus 49 plus 50 plus 47 plus 61 plus 15 plus 47 plus 81 gives you, when you add everything you get, 525 divided by 10 because there are 10 numbers that you've added. So you end up having 52,5. So what do we go for? The difference, which is subtraction. So we need to subtract 66,7 minus 52,5. So 66,7 minus 50. So here the answer becomes 14,2. Indeed, the claim is what? The claim is valid. It has to be below 15. And that claim, the, the, the teacher claimed that the difference in the mean mark of both tasks falls within the school's policy. And the schools stated that it, the task should be, the difference in the task should be below. Below? Below 15%. Okay, 3.2.3, .3, the achievements of the two other selected learners, K and L, we are added to table 6A to create table 6B. Use the answer sheet 
provided where the performance of the of learners a to j for both tasks plotted to plot the results of learner k and l they label the points all right let's go there to the next and we see okay we're plotting the first learner is this one here we are plotting 60 8 40. you come down here 68 task one so when you count numbers or lines in between lines in between six these we have five lines one two three four five so the difference between uh 60 and 80 is 20 20 divided by 5 you get 20 divided by 5 you get 4 so simply meaning each line here represents 4 but we are plotting 68 that means it's this this line here plots against uh, 68 plots against 40 plots against 40 we come here where does this line touch? So this is the first point. Clearly indicates. For the next point for the other learner L, 88 on the exit axis and this is 64. So 88, 88 we said uh, each line represents 4, so we are here. You're looking for 64. Ask yourself 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here each line represents two because there's a difference of 10 and there are five lines so each line represents two so we are looking for 88 hmm? 88 versus 64 sorry 88 versus 64 so we shall count here one two and you come and plot That's what they wanted you to do. Question four. Question four. Question four. The fundraising, uh, the fundraising committee of St. Mark's Anglican Church is planning a bride at a bride at the bride plates of food will be sold in order to raise funds for the new generator each plate of food will be sold so now the selling price is what 35 brands and this is what is needed to make the plate of food we need the plate will consist of a chobo browser salad uh paper play everything is there you know okay we look at the values which says they bought 16.7 kg of chops and 13 kg of borovoros at a local butcher enough for the 200 plates can you give us the total amount of fundraising committee paid for the meat products at the local so remember we are going to take we shall take we shall look at these quantities bought we have one this is meat also 13 it's also meat then we shall come and say we shall get this multiplied by six comma let me get this multiplied by 13. so we end up having 16 comma seven times 100 and So here they have two thousand fifty eh, two thousand five hundred two thousand five hundred and four runs eighteen cents. Here we have thirteen times. So here we have one thousand. 
299,87. So we add the two. Add the two. You add the two. You look at the discount. So the answer here is uh, three, three, five, four. Apply a discount, they are talking of 15% discount. So we multiply so 15% if it goes off, you mean with 85. So times 85. So this is it. They got the answers. All right, 4.1.2, the cost of the cell and the charcoal addition is what? 85, they calculate the total cost of one play. So this means the num the money you bought in the meat plus that of the charcoal divided by 200 because you, the aim is to sell 200 plates. So we do that. So this becomes 18 rand 50 cents. 18 rand 50 cents. So question number 4.1.3. The profit made from selling 200 plates of food was not sufficient. The fundraising, the fundraising committee still had a shortfall of 2,850 rand. To buy a new generator decide so they decided to come to continue selling more plates of food to the nearest to meet the shortfall the time rounded off to the nearest thing the total number of plates of food they had to sell in order to buy a new generator um this would be this is what we are having or they had to sell this. So here, here you divide by 35 because it's the selling price. So create it divided by 35. They have 81 plates, which is approximately 80 plates. So 80 plates plus the 200 they will sell. In other words, they will have to eight. All right, the fundraising committee wanted to design a poster targeted as a specific age group. They 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 studied the Estimated population distribution as a percentage per age group for the different race groups in South Africa. The estimated total number of South Africans, 15 years and older, is 43,378,059. This is it. So here we go.
Uh, so here we go. We are looking at the next step B. Let's go to our next step B. We see the values. This is the next step B. That next step B. We have uh, these different lines are representing the races and the, the different dots are representing the group brackets, the H bracket, sorry. So here we go, they write, write down the probability as a percentage of randomly selecting a white person from the white population in the age of 65 years and plus. So we go to the next year, white, what is it with a dot? So we shall come here, this is it. At which at which percentage is this? It's at fifteen percent. The probability will be fifteen percent. It is given that the total number of people in the in the in the age bracket of fifty five to sixty four years of age is four million and fifty two thousand five hundred seventy two. Give rounded to three decimal places the probability of randomly selecting a person who, a person in 55 to 65 years of age group from the total number of South Africans between. So this is so simple. You're taking the number they have given you, which is 4,052,500. Divided by the total number of uh, this one here, 40, 40, 43 million. 43 million. Forty-three million three hundred seventy-eight thousand nine hundred fifty-nine. We don't multiply by a hundred because they want it as a, as a decimal. So they want it to put three decimal places. Three decimal places. Identify the age group the, fund, the fundraising committee should target for this fundraising venue. We come to this, you see the age group here, 25 to 34. It has the most, like the percentage of people here. There are many. So, they would target that one there. We are saying they should target uh, 25 to 34 because they are many. They are many. First number five, we look at finance again, taxable income. Malcolm a 65-year-old consultant earns an annual taxable income of 981,500 rands for the year 2023 to 2024. He does not belong to any medical aid. Table 8 below shows the tax table and table 9 shows the tax rebates. State the total number of rebates Malcolm qualifies for. Remember, rebates are determined by the age. Rebates are determined by the age. So it's 65. Simply meaning he qualifies for two. 
primary and tertiary primary and secondary sorry primary and secondary calculate malcolm's monthly taxable payable all right we go here and we see he gets this and which bracket does it belong to it belongs to this bracket here so we shall write this on the side we shall use this formula here so we are saying And nine hundred. Sorry, we should use this bracket here. We use that bracket there, which simply means we shall start with that and we say is bracket number six. We put the money ants in a year. Minus the value that we've got from the bracket. Don't forget to simplify. Don't forget to simplify. After this, you're remaining with this much money. This is tax before rebate. We we take off the rebate. So the answer becomes twenty seven two hundred two hundred seventy five thousand two hundred fifty five. This is annual, so we divide by 4, which becomes Right. we are saying we are calculating uh, Malcolm's monthly tax pay of monthly tax pay Malcolm earns an amount of 981,500 a year so we ask ourselves where does this one belong so when you count it's it's one two three four Five, six. So Malcolm belongs to bracket number six. What we do, we shall use this number here. So we shall say we write this number the way it is plus forty one percent, which we write like zero comma four one. Open you put the money it gets, which is nine hundred eighty one thousand five hundred minus this number. That is found inside there. After doing that, you subtract the rebates. Malcolm is 65 years of age, you qualify for two rebates. The rebates will be here. So we shall come here and subtract them. It is 17,000 minus 4,444. So after the answer you get, divide it by.
We look at question number 5.2. Malcolm is planning to buy a motor vehicle. The cash price of the motor vehicle is 334000 it considers to follow the payment options to finance the motor vehicle to the value of 300,000. The motor vehicle, option number one, the motor vehicle loan without a residential slash balloon payment. And is option number two, the motor vehicle loan with a 20% residue balloon payment. And then number three, personal. So determine the term interest rate we shall say the percentage at which interest is calculated so we can say interest on on the car loan is calculated I'm saying car loan because of the word, what? We are looking at cars here. Uh, differentiate, mm -hmm. Determine the difference between the market instrument of option one and option two. The moment you hear difference, that means subtraction. So the monthly, we have this. This one here. And that. So monthly difference, you're going to say 6,100. So it's 6,100. 15,257 minus 5, 5,498,19. And so it comes. As I become 617 rands 28 cents. You may use the formula to find the part in the calculation of X. Calculation of X is saying installment. So, uh, X, X is in option number one. X is in option number one. Look at that. And the installment 6,115. So we shall say that installment 6,115,47 times the number of months they are showing us six years as uh, 72 months minus the loan value, which is 300,000. So your final answer becomes. fourteen. One hundred forty thousand three hundred thirteen. Then the value of Y installments we are looking at uh, twenty seventy three times the number of months. Sorry, installment the number the amount paid per month, which is five thousand four hundred ninety eight nineteen times seventy three. Plus the balloon, which is calculated at 20 times cash money. So, after doing that, you end up having your answer as. Rand 87 cents. Give one reason why banks charge more interest on personal loans compared to vehicles. Personal loans are the bank has no control over them that much, whereas the the the, the bank uh the for example if you take a car out of the bank you can easily the bank can easily re repossess it because it's theirs. But the personal loan they can't re repossess the money they have already given you.
Question number 5.3, we look at what we call box and whiskers. Box and whiskers. All right. Um, Malcolm also studies the trends in cells of hybrid vehicles. The following box and whiskers plot summarizes the percentage cells of the percentage cells of electrical vehicles E and plug-in hybrid vehicles E in South Africa. The following box will plot the cells of the two vehicles are drawn. So the hybrid vehicle is one okay. It's been used to, yes. Write down the value of the lowest quartile for the electronic vehicle. Now remember the E. So you come here. You draw a line. So the answer there is 24. And, and I said here that the interquartile range of the electronic vehicle was a quarter of the interquartile range of P. So the interquartile range of E is a quarter of interquartile range of P. When you hear interquartile, which is IQR equals to Q3 minus Q1. So we shall go and look for Q3 minus Q1. You can start from P. Q3 is 24. And Q1 is 6. One is six. You come here. You say uh, this is eighteen. Very good. Then we come to Q R O E. So this is for P. Now I'm doing for E. E. What's the Q three? Q3 of, it's 29. Minus 24. Minus 24. So here the answer is what? 5. But we are proving quarter of. So we shall say a quarter of 18. A quarter of eighteen. A quarter of eighteen. A quarter of eighteen is four comma five. But we are looking at cars, which is approximately five. So the state.